Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6, Quarter 3, Week Number 7. So, for today's lesson, we will discuss the learning competency in Week Number 7. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to find the area of the composite figures formed by any two or more of the following triangle, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. And also, you're going to solve routine and non-routine problems involving area of the composite figures formed by any two or more of the following triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Now, let's proceed to our drill discussion for this morning. You're going to match each of the following figure in column A to the formula of its area in column B. Let's have number one. You have 5 seconds to answer each of the following questions. Number 1, we have square. Your timer starts now. You may comment down your answer in the comment section. Correct, grade 6 pupils. The answer, correct answer is letter C, S squared. How about number 2? We have rectangle. What would be the correct answer? Correct. The correct answer is letter E. Area is equal to length times width. How about number 3? We have triangle. What is the area of the rectangle? Correct. Very good, grade 6 learners. The correct answer is letter A. One half base times height. Okay, how about number 4? Okay, good job, grade 6 learners. The correct answer is letter letter B. Area is equal to pi r squared. And then number 5, trapezoid. What is the area of the trapezoid? Correct. The correct answer is letter D. Area is equal to base number 1 plus base number 2 divided by 2 times height. Now, let's have... Some recall, what is an area? Good job! The area is the number of square units that cover the surface of a plane figure. For example, this rectangle. We have how many square units? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 square units. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is 15 square units. And then we have this square. What is the area of this square? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So therefore, we have 9 square units. So, now, find the area of this figure. Well, we have number 1. The dimension of this rectangle is 9 cm long and 4 cm White. Now, what would be the area of this rectangle? You may comment down your answer in the comment section below. Correct, grade 6 learners. First, we're going to write the formula. The area of the rectangle is equal to length times width. The value of length is equal to 9 cm and the value of width is equal to 4 cm. 9 times 4, the answer is 36 centimeter squared. Therefore, the area of the rectangle, if the dimension is 9 cm by 4 cm, is 36 square cm. Good job, grade 6 learners. Number 2, we have a square. So, the side of the square is 8 cm. So, find the area of this figure. You may comment down your answer in the comment section. Good job. The correct answer is 64. So, how do I get 64? First, write the formula. S times S or S squared. So, the value of side is 8 times 8. So, therefore, 8 times 8 is equal to 64 centimeters squared. Now, we have question number 3. We have the figure is a triangle. Now, how do I get the area of rectangle? First, write the formula. 
the formula is area is equal to base times height divided by 2 or 1 half base times height. And then substitute the value. The value of base is equal to 8. And then the value of height is equal to 6. Now, divided by 2. Multiply 8 times 6. The answer is 48 centimeters squared. Now, can you comment down your answer in the comment section? What would be the answer if I divide 48 divided by 2? Correct, grade 6 learner. The correct answer is 24 centimeters squared. Now, we have question number 4. This would be a circle. So, as we recall, the value of pi is equal to 3.14. And the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters. Let's solve. So, the formula in find the area of the circle is equal to area is equal to pi r squared. So, substituting the value of pi, 3.14 times 5 centimeters squared. So, 5 times 5, the answer is 25. And then, 25 times 3.14, the answer is 78.5 centimeter squared. Good job. Now, lastly, we have the trapezoid. So, the area of the trapezoid is equal to base number 1 plus base number 2 divided by 2 times height. So, the value of base number 1 is 8. The base number 2 is 6. 8 plus 6 divided by 2 times the value of height is equal to 5. Then, 8 plus 6, the answer is 14 divided by 2 times the value of height. Now, 8, uh, 14 divided by 2, the answer is 7. And then, multiply to the value of height. Therefore, the area of the trapezoid is? Okay, good job, grade 6 learners. The answer is 35 centimeter squared. Okay? So, we already recall on how the pi to find the value of some plane figures. Now, let's discuss on how to find the area of composite figures. But before that, let's define what is a composite figure. A composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of more than one basic two-dimensional shapes such as triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Okay? Now, Let's have some examples of composite figures. For figure number one, we have the combination of rectangle and semicircle. Figure number two, a combination of triangle and square. And figure number three, a combination of circle and square. So, these examples are example of composite figures. So, to further analyze on how to find the area of the composite figures, let's have some example. Example number one, we have a combination of square, dimension of 4 cm, the side of the square, and we have a rectangle, we have the dimension of 12 cm by 4 cm. So, this should be a, a composite figures. Now, let's find first the area of the square, and the area of rectangle and then added both the area of the square and the rectangle. Now, to find the area of this figure, you need to find the area of the square plus the area of rectangle. So, to find the area of the square, we have the formula of A is equal to S squared. So, substitute the value of the side of the square, so this should be the square, 4 centimeters, so 4 times 4, the answer is 16 centimeters squared for the area of the square. And then we have the area of the rectangle, so length times width, so the length of the rectangle is 12 centimeters and the width is equal to 4 centimeters. So 12 times 4, the answer is 48 centimeters squared and then add the area of the square 
plus the area of rectangle. Therefore, the total area of this composite figure is equivalent to 64 centimeter squared. Okay? So, let's have another example to further analyze. So, another one. We have the semicircle plus the triangle. So, we have two uh, basic figures, semicircle and triangle. So, first, find the area of the semicircle and then we have the area of the triangle. Now, the area of the semicircle is equal to pi r squared. But take note, as you can see, we have the value of this one is in form of the diameter. So, how do I find the radius of the semicircle? To find the radius, you just divide the diameter into 2. So, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. Therefore, the radius of the circle is equal to 3 cm. Substitute to the value or, or the formula that we're going to use. So, the area of the semicircle is equal to pi r squared divided by 2. So, substitute the value 3.14 times 3 to the power of 2 because this would be the radius and divided by 2. So, we have 3.14 times 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And then 3.14 times 9, the answer is 28.26 centimeters squared divided by 2. The answer is 14.13 centimeters squared. That would be the area of the semicircle. And then, let's proceed to the area of the triangle. Again, the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2, or 1 half base times height. So, the base is equal to 6 cm, and then the height is equal to 10 cm, and then divided by 2. So, 6 times 10, the answer is 60, then divided by 2, the answer must be 30 cm squared. And then to find the area or the total area, we need to add the area of the semicircle plus the area of the triangle. Area of the semicircle is 14 cm squared plus the area of the semicircle, the triangle, 30. Therefore, the total area is equal to 44.13 cm squared. I hope you understand this topic. Grade 6 learners, let's have another example. This time, we have the shaded region. So, we have the triangle with a base of 20 cm and with a height of 15 cm. And as you can see, we have the circle inside the triangle. And then, we're going to find the shaded region. So, as you can see, the radius of this circle is equivalent to 4 cm. Now, let's find first the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle because we have to find the area of the shaded region. So, we need to subtract both area, not to add. So, first, find the area of the, sem uh, the triangle. Base times height divided by 2. The base is equivalent to 20. And the height is equal to 15. So, 20 times 15, the answer is 300. And then, 300 divided by 2. The area of the triangle is equivalent to 150 square centimeter. And then, let's find the area of this circle. Take note, again, the value of pi is equivalent to 3.14. Now, the area of the circle is equivalent to pi r squared. So, the value of pi is 3.14 times the radius. The radius is 4 cm, 4 raised to the power of 2. Then, 4 times 4, the answer is 16 cm squared. Multiplied by 3.14, the answer is 50.24 cm squared. But take note. Like I said earlier, we need to subtract the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle. 
area of the triangle is equivalent to 150 cm squared minus the area of the circle is equivalent to 50.24 cm squared. Therefore, the difference is equivalent to 99.76 cm squared. So, take note, page 6 learners, if the direction is you're going to find the area of the shaded region, you need to subtract both figures. Okay? Now, let's have some poll problem. We have this, a 5 inches and 8 inches picture. 5 inches by 8 inches picture is framed in a rectangular board which is 7 inches wide and 10 inches long. What is the area of the board that can be seen? So, let's illustrate first the problem. So, this would be the problem. And let's understand the problem. What is us in the problem? Page 6 learners, you may comment down your answer in the comment section. Good job. The correct answer is the area of the board that can be seen. And then... What are the given? Correct. The given are a picture which is 5 inches wide and 8 inches long. And we have a rectangular board which is 7 inches wide and 10 inches long. Then, what is the hidden question? Did you know the hidden question? You may comment down your answer in the comment section. Correct. The hidden question is the area of the picture and the area of the rectangular board. Now, let's devise a plan. Make an illustration. So, this would be the illustration of the problem. We have 8 inches by 7 inches or 8 inches by 7 inches. This would be the a rectangular frame and then we have 5 inches by 8 inches this would be the picture frame now let's separate the figure into two rectangles so the rectangular A is a picture and a rectangle B is a board now to find the area Use the formula below. The formula is area is equal to length times width. Now, carry out the plan. Rectangle A, length times width. So, we have 8 by 5 centimeter, uh, inches. Rather. So, 8 times 5, the answer is 40 square inches. This would be the area of rectangle A. And then, we have rectangle B. The area is equal to 70 square inches. Multiply 10 times 7, the answer is 70 inches squared. And now, to find the area of the board that can be seen is, is we need to subtract the area of the rectangle B minus the area of rectangle A. So, the re area of rectangle B is 70 minus the area of rectangle A. Therefore, the area that can be seen is 30 in square inches. Okay, so to check and look back, the area of the board is equal to area of the picture plus area of the board that can be seen. So, 70 square inches is equal to 40 inches squared plus 30 inches squared. Therefore, 70 inches squared is equal to 70 inches squared. Therefore, the, cor the answer must be correct. Okay? Now, let's have some activity. Okay? So, I give you one minute to answer this one. You may comment down your answer in the comment section below. You may comment down your answer in the comment section below. Grade 6 learners, we have the two figure, we have the triangle and the rectangle. 
Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the solution and the answer. So, first, the answer is 310 square centimeter. So, how do I arrive with that answer? First, we're going to write or state the formula that we're going to use. Area of the triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. So, substitute the value of base. The value of base is equivalent to 10 times the height is equal to 12. 10 times 12, the answer is 120 divided by 2. The answer is 60 centimeters squared. So, then, let's find the area of rectangle. The dimension is equivalent to length times width. 25 times 10, the answer is 250 square centimeter. And add all the area. So, area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. Therefore, the answer is 310 square centimeter. Good job, grade 6 learners. Now, activity number 2. Find the area of this figure. We have the square and the rectangle. You may comment down your answer. I give you one minute. Your timer starts now. Okay, time's up. Now, let's reveal the correct answer. What would be the correct answer, grade 6 learners? Correct answer is 256 square centimeter. Now, so first, let's find the area of the square. So, the dimension of the square is 8 by 8 centimeter. So, therefore, the answer is 64 square centimeter. And the area of the rectangle is? 24 by 8 centimeter. Therefore, the correct answer is 192 square centimeter. So, to find the area of the uh, figure, area of the square plus the area of rectangle, the answer is 256 square centimeter. Okay. For figure number 3, we have the figure of rectangle and two semicircles. Therefore, we're going to find the area of the rectangle plus the area of two semicircles or it co if we combine the two semicircles, we have the area of the square. So, I give you one minute. Your timer starts now. Find the area of rectangle and find the area of the circle. The dimension of the rectangle is 20, 18 by 20, 18 decimeter long and 20 decimeter wide because we have 10 plus 10, 20. And then the radius of the circle is equivalent to 10 decimeter. Okay, time is up. Now let's rebuild the solution. First, the answer is area is equal to 494 square decimeter. So, how do I get that answer? First, find the area of the circle, pi r squared. Then, substitute the value of pi, 3.14 times 10 decimeter squared. So, therefore, we have 100, 10 times 10, 100, times 3.14. The answer is 314 square decimeter. That would be the area of the re square. And then, the area of rectangle, then times width, 18 by is it by 10? This should be 18 by 20. So, what would be the correct answer? The correct answer is 20 times 180. The answer is 360. So, 360 plus 360 plus 314, what would be the right answer? 
494 is not the correct answer. So, add 0 plus 4, 4. And then 6 plus 1, the answer is 7. And 3 plus 3, the answer is 6. Therefore, the answer is 674 square decimeter, not 494. Okay? Next. Now, find the area of the shaded region. So, this should be a rectangle and a trapezoid. So, basically, by using the area of the trapezoid, we need to find the area of the shaded region. But, let's find first the area of the rectangle and the area of the trapezoid. Or the area of rectangle and the area of two rectangle triangle, rather. So first, this would be the answer, 40 centimeters squared. So how do I arrive that answer? So area of the rectangle, then times width. The dimension of the rectangle is 12 centimeter long and 5 this centimeter wide. So 12 times 5, the answer is 60. And the area of the two rectangle, we have two times one half base times height so two times one half times and what will be the base we have four and then we have the height is five four times five is twenty and then one half of twenty is ten ten times two the answer is twenty centimeter long and then add and then is it add wrong we need to subtract sixty centimeter Minus 20 centimeter, the answer is 40 centimeter squared. Okay? And then lastly, we need to find the area of the shaded region. We have the area of the triangle and area of the square. So, first, we need to find the area of, this should be the area of the shaded region. Area is equal to 216 centimeter squared. So, let's see the solution. Area of the square. So, the uh, side of the square is 12 centimeter. So, 12 times 12, the answer is 124, 144 centimeter squared. And then, the area of the triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. The base is equivalent to 30 centimeter. And the height is 24 centimeter. So, 30 times 24, the answer is 720 centimeter squared. Divided by 2, the answer is 360 centimeter squared. Now, subtract. The answer is 200, 360 minus 144. The answer is 216 centimeter squared. Okay? So, remember, page 6 learners, the area is a number of square units that cover the surface of the region. And then the composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of more than one basic two-dimensional shape such as triangle, square, rectangles, circles, and semicircles. Okay? And to find the area of the composite figure, you just separate the figure into simple non-overlapping figure. And then find the area of the each figure. And then, after that, after that, you're going to, what? Find the area of each figure and add the area of the figure in if it's not overlapping or subtract the area of the figure if it's overlapping figure. Okay? So, for your home learning task, you just answer this one, multiple choice. So, comment down your answer in the comment section. You just comment the letter of the correct answer. And then, that's all for today. See you again for another uh, video lesson for Mathematics 6. God bless everyone.